with Katie Realty and I have a great new exciting series that we're going to bring to you with Glenn Chandler with Bold City Properties. Hi, I'm Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> we had a buyer come to us a couple weeks ago, John and Emily, and they have been following Glenn on social media. His Insta stories and his building process that he's been showing online that tells the story of local places, his process intrigued them so much that they came to Florida, called me and we met with Glenn. They absolutely fell in love with this process. But what impressed me as a realtor the most is when we went under contract with this home, Glenn spent hours and hours putting together a detailed spec sheet and this vision boards with details that made my clients absolutely thrilled. So what I wanted to do is ask Glenn a couple questions about his process and at the end of this video you'll have a chance to ask Glenn some questions also online and we'll come to you next week and answer those questions. So where we are now we are at the almost closing the walls up phase. Um, you have a lot of time goes into uh, when the walls are open to add all the electrical, figure out you know where you want certain lights to go, um, your HVAC system of course, and uh, and then plumbing. Um, that's what we're in right now, and we just had the ceiling spray foam, and uh, we're about to finish out the walls with insulation, and hopefully in the next few days we will be having some walls put up. So one question I had was, how long typically is the building process? Uh, well, from start breaking ground to the finish, we're at about five to six months. But when you're in the historic district like we are, yeah. you got to factor in a lot of extra time. So um, the house next door actually took us uh, almost a complete year just because you've got to go through the historic process of getting the COA, and that can take a couple of months. And then once you're done with that process, you have to go through your engineering and all that stuff, which still takes a few more months to finalize that. But breaking ground to the finish about five to six months. That sounds good. That's actually pretty quick for a custom home. Yeah. And then another question I had, your inspirations and ideas. Um, I find after looking at different homes, I mean, it's just such a, a great reflection of the area, the local area. Right. So one question that one of our clients asked us was where do you get your inspirations and ideas? Um, actually for this home, there's a home uh, on St. John's Avenue. Oh, really? a, a brick cottage home, yeah, that uh, I, I drove by one day and I was like, I love this home, it's beautiful. And, uh, so we try to, you know, find other homes that have, you know, were built 80 to 100 years ago in this area and then we try to, you know, try, try to mimic what, what was there, but just add our own little touches to it. Um, but also I follow a lot of, you know, uh, local designers um, that have been really inspirational to helping me, um, Johnny Mac. Um, who's always been a big, you know, inspiration to me, and, and you know, just follow where others have gone before me. And, you know, That's awesome. Follow their lead a little bit. So. That's awesome. Well, I know for me, um, with John and Emily, they were so excited to actually finally meet you. Yeah. Um, when they first called me, they were like, they sent me your instant link. They sent me, and they were like, whatever we need to do, we need to meet this builder. That's great. Um, so to me, that is such an important thing. It just it took the building process from a normal building process, but it created the story of the home, the story of the area, and you did such a great job at it that it made them want to live in this area, which is um, very near and dear to my heart because my real estate office is right there on St. John's Avenue, so is And my here. home is three streets up from here. Yeah, and mine is about five blocks this way. <laughs> <laughs> we live, work, and play in this yeah. area, right? So. so if you have any extra questions, um, at the end of the video, type in your questions, and we will come to you next week and give you updates on progress next week. Yep, thanks.